Welcome to this presentation on Nonverbal Codes of Communication at Bunny Grasslands, Kutch Gujarat, India. Inspired by the ideas discussed in the First Things First manifesto and movies like The Motorcycle Diaries, I decided to use my skills in visual communication at the grassroots. I showed up at Bhuj in Kutch region of Gujarat in Western India to work with a non-profit called Sahajivan. Sahajivan works in four areas: animal husbandry, drinking water, renewable energy, and urban initiative. I chose to work with the animal husbandry unit. Although I lived in Bhuj, the urban area, my field area was 50 kilometers away from Bhuj. Let me take you there. Nestled between the greater run of Kutch and the little run of Kutch lie the Bunny grasslands. Given my background in visual communication and a desire to work in area of women and livelihoods, I was given two assignments by Sahajivan. The short-term assignment included designing labels for products. whereas the long term assignment included understanding women's role in animal husbandry at bunny grasslands i decided to start with the short term assignment first and made few roughs and showed it to the livestock keepers of bunny in gujarat livestock keepers are known as keepers of wealth or maldharis maldharis saw what work i had done and were furious at me for using such a quote and quote bad quality buffalo as the face of their product to a city bred person like me what does a bad quality buffalo mean for that matter i do not even understand what a good quality buffalo is when i told maldhari is this one of the seniors said to design for bunny you must understand bunny first and for that to happen you cannot be in front of computer in your city office all day come live with us in bunny and understand how we work that was it i packed my bags and moved to bunny here's bunny it is a mud flat it transform from a dry land in summers to wetlands in monsoon but primarily it is a rich grassland and a commons by commons i mean no one living in bunny owns even a square inch of land in their names the land is a common property and shared between all the livestock keepers as a grazing pasture for their animals bunny is rich in biodiversity and nutritive grasses bunny was once a seabed but today bunny is known world over primarily for its amazing livestock breeds such as the bunny buffalo kangrich cattle the sindhi horse and the kachhi camel ratio of human to livestock population in bunny is 17000 humans to 85000 animals no wonder animal husbandry is the primary occupation here followed by charcoal making handicrafts and embroidery tourism small businesses such as tea shops and of course driving Bunny consists of 48 hamlets which are organized into 19 panchayats. The human population of about 17000 is 90% Muslim nomadic pastoralists and 10% Hindu Meghwals and Wada Kolis. I moved to Bunny and began my research and design work. I armed myself with a sketchbook, a voice recorder, a questionnaire and a camera. On day 1 I hitched a ride with my colleagues from Sajivan. As soon as I got off at a village in Jath Hamlets, the sight of me with my questionnaire and camera annoyed the villagers. They said, "You come to us in a comfortable car. You ask us so many questions about our lives and that's how you get paid your salary. But what do we get for answering your questions?" This went on for a few days and I made no headway whatsoever. I needed a new strategy to get people to talk to me and allow me into their lives. It was at this point that I stopped taking the NGO based transport. I began taking buses that make once a day trip within Bunny, spending time at bus stops, mama shops, police check posts and the only hospital in Bunny in the hope that I see something I can use. First thing that stuck me was the absolute absence of women in public space. 
Is that a quote too reflective of the place of women in the society here? Forms were just not good enough and photography, especially around women, was a taboo. I needed new methods. Note taking was threatening around a semi-literate population. Thus, drawing and map making broke the ice and was one of the initial methods I used. To work in Bunny, you have to be one with nature and follow Bunny's natural rhythm. Soon enough, I was literally decoding Bunny to find my way around it metaphorically as well as physically. 